Hello everyone, this is John, back with another review. Today is going to be a review day for me. This is going to be my first of three that I film. And the first thing that I'm going to be reviewing today is a bowl of ramen. Not surprising. This bowl is brought to you by Vitae Ramen. Uh, I have done a review of some Vitae before. Um, Vitae Ramen, they are, they kind of profess to be a, I, don't, I wouldn't say healthy, but healthier choice um, in ramen. It is packed with protein and vitamins. Um, it says that it is a nutritionally complete meal in one pack. And if you look at the back here, you'll see it does have 500 calories. It's weird that they got it on such an even number, 500 but 26 grams of protein it's a lot of protein and then you have 25 to 35 percent um, even 50 percent of some things vitamins and minerals 25 percent or more daily value of all essential vitamins and minerals 26 grams of complete protein no preservatives no artificial preservatives and no frying uh, one interesting thing about Vitae Ram that I've found is like the the noodle bunch, um, it's not like a hard brick. It is dry, but it's kind of soft and it has like some wiggle and some bounce. Um, they also say on the package that made in the USA with living wages. They make a big deal on the back as well. It says Vitae Kitchens is a small business built on big dreams. This means living wages. Healthy amounts of PTO, days off for mental health. And this particular package, you can see up on the corner right here, it says in collaboration with Fly by Jing, which is another product that I've reviewed before. It is a Sichuan Chili Crisp. Still have, yeah, it's about a little less than halfway done. And Fly by Jing is a, is a Chili Crisp. Um, this package, it came with this nutritional soup base powder, but also this little pack of what I believe is the Fly By Jing. It didn't have any like the beans in it that the the jar sauce has. Um, and it was kind of hard to get out. The liquid when it came out, but like the all of like the uh, the crispy bits were stuck in there and I had to dig it out with my chopstick. Um, from what I remember before, Fly by Jing is it de tastes decent for what I had before. Um, it's going to taste like it was healthy, or like healthier. It has like you you know what it is when you taste it. This is uh, also version 1.2. You can see right there, version 1.2. Um, that's actually encouraging because I like to see that. They want to see what works, what doesn't, and change things up and make it better over time. And that's a good thing when you have small businesses, you can do that. You're not stuck uh, to one thing by some corporation who won't allow, allow any change. Uh, da, 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 da. The uh, instructions for this says that they do not recommend pouring hot water over to cook because the noodles won't hydrate properly. I boiled the noodles in water for around three minutes is what they say. Um, it also says there's microwave instructions, but you have to visit their website for it. There is a lot of ingredients on here. A lot of it are like nutritional things that have been added to it. So it's not like the most simple uh, recipes. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, try this out. You can see if the uh, the ingredients on here for the fly by Jing are the same as the ingredients on my. And it's very very similar. Uh, there's a different blend of oils. This one says canola oil and soybean oil. This one says rapeseed oil and soybean oil. But other than that, they all look to be the same ingredients, which is good. Um, I'm going to taste it. 
and I'm going to open this and also taste a little bit of that just so I can see if they've got the flavor accurate and maybe even add some more to it. There's not a whole heck of a lot of uh, soup in this. It only says add two cups. So like it actually gets kind of thick what's actually left in there. Give it a sip. It is spicy. <clears throat> it's Szechuan spice. Let's go ahead and give the noodles a taste. And by the way, this bowl is full of noodles. So most likely not going to eat the whole thing on camera. I really like the bite that these noodles have. They have a a very good chew to them. Like they're not falling apart, but they're not like gummy or anything like that either. It's like a satisfying amount of bite. We feel satiated. The noodles do have like a, there's, there's 7 grams of dietary fiber in this packet, which I believe is all the noodles. And they do kind of have like a fibriness to them, but it's, it's nothing terrible. I actually like it. Is it like the best ramen? No, it's not like it's not like that unctuous tonkatsu kind of ramen that you're going to get from like a shop. But this has a nice tingly spiciness to it. Like uh, if you ever had Szechuan peppercorns before, it's almost like this little buzzy spice. That's exactly what you get here. And the taste and smell, I can tell you right now, because I've, I've had half this jar already in different things. It's a... Whoop, that is going to create an oil stain on my shirt. Thank you. I'm just going to want it to get a little bit of the crunchy stuff underneath here. And taste it. Yeah, it's, it's so much like the flavor of what I'm eating here that it's almost like whatever flavor is in my mouth that didn't change at all. So yeah, this, this stuff they put in here, definitely same recipe. They've changed the oil blend a little bit, but the oil's not what's going to give this flavor. Get a little bit of the nose drip. But, uh, yeah, if you like Fly By Jing, if you've had that before, then you're going to like this because the flavor is, is spot on. If you like noodles with a good chew to them, same. This is a good bowl of noodles. Uh, spicy, chewy, has a... Protein and vitamins and minerals that are going to help you get your daily recommended 25% at least. And uh, I don't know. It's really good. I will finish this. Um, just not on camera because there's a lot of it in this bowl. So you can still see. Excuse me. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
little spice hit in the back of my throat there. Uh, Vite also has a new flavor. This one is grilled ribeye beef. Um, I might do this one later in review. I might do it as a live stream review. I only got a couple more of those Minraku bowls left, so I'm going to need something else to do for a live review. And I don't think this one is like super special enough to get its own regular review because it's just grilled ribeye beef. Uh, another one of the 1.2 versions just like the flyby jing that we just did here. I'm just really enjoying the the buzzy spice that it gives you and the, the chew of these noodles. And those two things combined is good enough for uh, this to be a really good bowl. It says that it's a complete meal by itself that doesn't mean you can't add stuff to it. Uh, for this one, you could really add any protein to it, and it's because of that Sichuan peppercorn in here. It's all going to get that nice buzzy spiciness to it. Um, I might add like some like garlic to this, uh, maybe some fried garlic, or something that's kind of crunchy. One thing that uh, was not in here, like I said, there, there was no beans in here. So even though it's like a chili crisp, it didn't really have the parts of the the flyby jing that were crispy or crunchy or even like had much bite to them at all. Uh, so that'd be the only thing I, that I think would be really good to add to this is something crunchy, like maybe like I said, some like fried garlic uh, slices that would work uh, well, I think. Anyway. That's it for this, the Vitae Ramen Fly By Jing, oh, right here, Fly By Jing Vitae Ramen, I'm not going to pick up the thing because I put all my dirty spoons on top of it and I don't want to move those things, it's good, it's uh, 7.6 out of 10 instant ramen, and I'm going to enjoy finishing it, anyway. We'll see you on the next one I do today. It probably won't come out the same day as this one, but I'm reviewing three today, and you'll notice that I'm wearing the same shirt as each three, which will trigger you, I'm sure. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.